Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Twitch Rivals. We are live at Berlin right now at TwitchCon EU. For now, we've got our all-stars lined up and ready to go. It's going to be something spectacular. So I'm not even going to waste any time right now. I want to be here on the stage to introduce your two teams. Introducing first, the American All-Stars. Fog, I will dominate. Mid-Beast, Yasuo, and Nikki Taylor! And their opponents, LRB, Elmed, No Way, Proxy Fox, and Zenton. Give it up for the European All-Stars! You guys think you're going to win just because of the, the champion pick there? I think we want to win because they are in just an A. They, they are inferior Ooh, players. I like that. Ooh. Just an A. Wow. <laughs> okay, come on then. See, come I, on. I would have shit talked a little more, but I don't even know who I'm facing. So, I'll, I'll let wow. Talk. Wow. I just want to know why my boy Scuff Ninja is talking, talking smack on the mic right now, dude. That's, that's all I want to know. I tell you what. Go take your seat and let's let your gameplay talk for itself, sir. We will see exactly what we've got to do. Go, go take your seats. I can't even speak right now. We've just had curse words, all sorts of stuff. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get this started very soon. I hope you're as excited as I am. Let's go to the couch now. Boys, what do you think of that? Yikes. Thank you very much, Rossi. That was, yeah, that was an introduction <laughs> to be talked about for a while. Dominic coming out swinging. Uh, it's, it's Dom's be, character, though. That's you know? true. Dom, Dom, Dom's always got uh, a good smack talk to back up. He's, he's a decent jungler, too, so he should, he should be able to hold his own. Yeah, I mean, that's the hope, right? I, like, I think the, the European players, we've already seen a few of them play today, they have actually quite a strong lineup. I know Proxy is actually role swapping to AD carry, which could be a little bit of a weakness, but she's only facing up against Yasuo, so it should be okay. We are on to the Summoner's Rift Game 1 of the All Star match between Team Europe and Team North America. Pop lanes come down as well. <laughs> Five days to go for a three-man dive mid. Three-man oh, dive no mid. Way. No way, you mean three-man dive mid? Level one. Dominate with a perfect tower aggro juggle. Fog gets away as well. Team America with some next level coordination. Go, go for the execute, the fight can provide. Although we did see Zenton on, uh, oh, there's Phantom on the toe. Flash away, flash oh, follow. There we go. Foxy with the damage. Zenton showing us his support chops here. Great stuff all around from him. Having watched the first eight minutes of this game, I'm going to say European Pride is not reliant on us winning this game. Because if it is, we might not be very prideful for very long. Oh, that's an immediate cleanse. Oh, sorry. We'll say, yeah, orange. Oh, out. Yes, 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 no, no. He flashes in. He gets it. Gives away the bounty. No way with the perfect bait. Yeah, but if we, if we sort of take the way that LRB played earlier, he's very unlikely to itemize too heavily into defense. Although you can see, here we go. Zenton looking for an engage. Lands the hook into the Phantom Undertow. Nikki Taylor takes quite a bigger burst, but here comes Dominate once again. He's called out Foxy Fox. And that is a kill for Nikki Taylor on the MF. Zenton trying to get away, but the Unstoppable Onslaught will pull him back. Zenton lands a good hook to knock him back. He uses the ultimate, but it's a double for NA, and it's Nikki Taylor to pick them both up. Chucking out those Plasma Fissions as often as possible. Oh, and Amelia's going in with the ult here onto Yasuo. Midby stays around as well, but Yasuo already has the QSS, and Amelia's the one to fall. The bullet time comes out as well, but Zenten looking for the resets, the double dunk underneath the tower takes down two, but now he needs to get away because Dominate and Nikki Taylor are on the chase. Ghost Water dive for the extra movement speed. Dominate still getting in. The hook doesn't pull him over the wall. Zenten going in with the ult, though, won't have enough. Now Dominate jumps straight onto Proxy Fox, and Proxy just doesn't have the peel. It's a double for Nikki Taylor as NA come out on top. The rest of you are looking to respond to it. LRB and Zenton are here in time. Emilor across the wall has the ultimate if he wants to jump in. The hook doesn't connect with that bone skewer. Emilor jumps in, but the bound goes down to Dominate and Nikki Taylor will run away. They have the onslaught of shadows here. Now the EU team are caught between a rock and a hard place. Zenton jumping away. LRB gets mid beast. Dominate caught up with the Phantom on the toe as well. They're going to take down two at least here. Dominate falls. The bullet time comes out. Nikki Taylor eats an organic disintegration rate to the back. It's a triple kill for LRB. Make a that a quadra kill for the Renekton. You go into a strict 5v5 or a 4v4, there's no real way to set up multiple knockups for the Yasuo, although Proxy Box has got to be careful. Yeah, not really much you can do against Dominate, just rampaging towards her. You can see Zenton trying to come in, Emilor there pulls him back into the ultimate. This is great stuff. Nikki Taylor, they're going to kill Emilor straight away, and Zenton had to jump out. Didn't get the ult resets. Rift Herald was used in the mid lane here as well, and NA trying to force down mid. You can see Zenton actually chasing Nikki Taylor all the way back to that secondary tower. Nikki Taylor's going to back, Zenton's going to realize she's there. 
Misses this is... the ultimate as Nikki Taylor flash heals away and now the Rift Tail is pushing in mid. Yeah. LRB in no way have to defend. Yeah, this is going to be huge for America. They might be able to go in. LRB trying to one v four. But you've got the ultimate coming out from Fox. LRB can't do it. Fox gets the kill, gets a huge amount of gold. There's the shutdown, and now No Way has no place to go. And A just going to push in the in in him here with the Rift Held. Should be an easy enough take, and they have opened up this game and look to be defeating Team Europe on, on their home turf. Dominic was pulled in here. Going to use the onslaught of shadows. Yasuo onto the back line as well. The bullet times comes out. It's Yasuo B3 trying to do what he can, but he will be taken out. This is a great fight for Team Europe as LRB is just slicing through the back line. He gets a triple and Middle jumps in with the ult. But meanwhile, Volk is split pushing in the bottom lane. Someone's going to have to go answer him. It looks like it will be LRB and the rest of Team Europe are going to go for that Baron. I think they're going to lose this inhibitor in the process though, and that's one of the issues. Baron will get you a small advantage here. You might be able to use it to push lanes, but in the most part, you're just denying it from North America. When you have Look how drop. quickly yeah, it's going down. comes out here, though. Oh, that's an incredible ultimate. Tilio Wolf, and then all jumps in, pops the ultimate. Lots of damage coming down. The Undying Rage used by Fog. Mid Beast has killed M. Eleanor. You can see the damage come down on the back line as well as Dominate falls. Zenton gets one. It's one for one trade, one for two, in fact. But the resets. Oh, oh Yasuo goes he golden. Gets it. But you can't pop the stopwatch on LRB. He strikes down with the cold and he can get the kill. The Baron did go across to the side of Team NA, but EU win the fight. Gonna jump in with the last breath here. Dominic coming in as well. See the Weaver's wall separating the Good team. Dominic jumps Proxy. forward. A great flash from Poxy. The GA pops onto Yasuo with a bullet time coming in. Not really doing too much. Two GAs down. The fear's gonna land. Yasuo falls. Here comes the second as Dominic follows shortly after. And Team EU find two quick kills in the mid lane. NA Yasuo with Yasuo Syndrome committed to that ult. That was absolutely not what you wanted to do. You separated yourself entirely I, from your team. Dominate said it himself. He's got the Yasuo that any team's going to lose. Oh, Fog now trying to... This is, I mean, this is Trindamere in a team fight situation. He just, pops the ultimate, but he's not going to be able to do too much. He just continues to get chased down. No one will shut him out. And that's three players on the side of NA. Only Nikki Taylor and Mibby's left alive. Zenten pulling them all around the map as well. Nikki Taylor takes a chunk from the Plasma Fish and Mibby flashes in for the kill. They answer with one, but all of Team Europe can push down mid lane here. They've got a super minion here in the base already. No way flashes forward for the power of Didn't really get what he wanted to do off. Emelon's going to jump in as well. Oh, the silence oh, is big. Oh my goodness gracious me. You can put us down and A, but you will never stop EU in the end. They take game one of the All-Star match. Just goes to show. That's you right, crowd. Yeah. That's right. Europe had just won you the have, first you game. You have a Yasuo on your team. You're destined to lose. That's what we learned I here. feel like we need to bring someone in very quickly to this picture. Duper duper strong. Well, gentlemen, it's time to get ourselves into it. Game number two, the All-Star Showdown between North America and Europe has begun. Take it away, boys. Thank you very much, Jump. We'll see if we have a repeat performance from game one. NA started off incredibly powerfully in that game. Even that early three-man dive towards the mid lane did a lot of work. Had some issues with that in your time. It's like mid beast isn't from NA. That's it's Australian, so it's can the right card. Dominate looking for the early gank up towards the top lane. LRB trading also bogged. Has enough damage to get first blood. And Dominate will get him in response. You kind of expect it in the Carthus versus Fiddlesticks matchup, but it's just a lot of uh, extra Gold going over as Nikki Taylor's getting ganked. Uh, no way, he's come all the way down towards the bottom lane as well. They know there's no summoners. Midbeast only has the ignite. No way, he's going to go for Midbeast. He's one more auto attack here just to solidify the kill. The ignite ticks away, it's enough. And they kill off Nikki Taylor as well. Team Europe, f Team Europe five kills to two up at the six minute mark. Zenton's going to use the Phantom Undertow to get away. Yasuo is coming in as well, but not going to be able to get anything more out of that. They are on a control ward here. Foxy Fox steps forward into the wall of pain. Yasuo jumps in with the Vanguard's Edge, jumps all around, but a good knockback from Zen 10 with the Bone Skewer will knock him out of place for the moment. Poxy Fox has fallen, Yasuo is still on the chase, the Ignite comes out, that's enough. Here comes Elmilor though, all by himself. No, no way's here to join him. It's a 4v2, but no way can pop the ultimate. Nikki Taylor almost full, Dominate goes down. He still has the ultimate left up, the Requiem for a dream. And the dream is Elmilor dying. No way jumps all the way back to his own shadow as Nikki Taylor escaped underneath the tower. One for one trade down towards that bottom side as no way now just trying to run for the hills. Mid Beast doesn't have the flash up yet, and they won't chase No Way any further. And this will prove an issue for Europe because Carthus can solo carry games in these team fights. Oh, he's in such a strong position now. Organic disintegration ray into the Zenten double oh, dunk. Oh, oh, oh. That's what you want to see if you're a Team Europe fan. Zenten coming up trumps in the bottom lane. They get the double kill, they'll take some more plates off as well. Here trying to chase away Dominate. LRB looking for the slice and dice across the wall, but realizes he's not in the right spot. No way coming in from the side here as well. Dominate trying to land those lay ways as Elmer continues to dodge away, but the floor of Shriek will stun him up. Dominate gets the kill. LRB actually no way 
gets one in response, but he's gonna fall here. No way. Pops the O just in time. Jumps forward, jumps back. Oh, no way. No way do you do that. What an absolute monster. No way escapes death by the Sits clutches. Sits on his throne as nice. well afterwards. Absolutely needed. Wouldn't be Europe without a throne at the end of it. <laughs> and he's the king of escaping. That was incredible. Maybe even leaves a legacy there, <laughs> Medic. Any dragons you can get are uh, always an extra little bit of bonus. Zenten getting chased out here by Yasuo. Boxy Cup is coming in from the side as well, but Bogd is on his way down. Midbeast is around as well. Does ha doesn't have the destiny right now, actually. The Flawless Duet misses. Here comes Elmer Lord. Jumps in, but the flash away from Yasuo gets himself to safety. Now Bogd coming in from the side as well. Takes on his disruption. Flashed away from Bogd by Bogd. Gets underneath the tower. There's the Organic Disintegration Ray. And only Elmer Lord will fall. Bogd ignited. Missed with the ultimate. Oh! But here comes no way. Poxy Fox takes down Nikki Taylor. Bogd has fallen as well. Midbeast jumps underneath the tower pops the zonyas just in time to oh, not so enough close. even with the ignite ticking they couldn't quite get it now yasuo is shut down onto zenten no way here as well flawless duet dodge direct Riem comes out no way tick tick boom he's down as dominic takes him out but we will see yasuo fall as well and he's got some penetration from the uh, oblivion orb as well so and the sorcerer shoes that's going to be pretty... T oh, oh, no. Poor, that's, that's so unfair. Poor Nikki. She just got back into the game. Oh, dear. The hiding brush members of No Way and uh, Proxy. They were looking for an opportunity here. Pulls in mid base though. And mid base is dead because No Way's waiting around the wall. Good stuff from Zenta to land that bone. Screw and Baron is on the cards. You know, you could start this up. I wouldn't start it versus Akathas. So here's the thing, right? If Akathas doesn't know it's happening, and no way just like sits somewhere and just like chunks him out. You sure. have no vision control, right? Yeah, that's, that's fair, that's fair. So you can you could try and sneak it if you wanted to. They decide against it, they're just gonna keep no way splitting in that top lane. And they pushing for the mid tower. Elmer Lord's gonna ult in. This is dangerous. This is super dangerous. He clears out the wave with the crow storm, but dominate falls. Elmer Lord goes golden. Dominate the resets coming out from Zenton as well. Takes down Nikki Taylor. There's the Requiem, comes out just in time. Proxy Box goes golden. Yasuo is doing a lot of work here. No way on his way. That's Yasuo so much caught damage. out. Proxy Fox just takes him down. And although they've lost their jungler, Europe are looking towards that Nasher. Bullet time used, not going to clear out that entire wave because the Baron up minions doing quite a lot of work there. The tower, chunked away by Velkos, by the rest of Europe. Deathmark used by Midbeast, uh, not by Midbeast, by No Way, jumps straight back. But here comes No Way, kills out Midbeast. The tower falls as well. Fog trying to get onto the back lines. Zen 10, unable to get the ult out in time as Fog heals up. They're not going to go for the inhibitor here, they're just backing away, resetting. Uh, Europe yeah. did break oh, it. Oh, Proxy. Oh, she has the Zonyas. Talked about it. Zonyas very powerful on her. There was no Zonyas left on Elmelor. However, NA is still holding on, right? We we saw the Baron go down to Europe, and they haven't taken an inhibitor yet. Oh, uh, no, no way. way. She's going for this. Straight on to Dominate. Knows he doesn't have the ultimate. The death marks enough. He jumps back. Goodbye, Karthus. That's the kill for No Way in the side lane. Didn't even care that Yasuo was standing there either. Just takes him out in the 2v1. And now he can split push with impunity. Fogged is going to face check the Baron down. Very low. Smite it away. Zenta gets it. And EU sneak it away. They take the Nasher. NA unable to react. I think Elmila just ulted over the wall instead of having uh, no flash. So that was a good move from him. But oh, they're team. still chasing. Dominic goes in. Elmila takes a lay waste. Elmila's not going to be able to do too much here. Pops the Zonyas. No way. And she looks to be on the other side oh, of the fight. LRB has just killed Nikki Taylor by himself on his lonesome. Destiny comes out with the Ruthless Predator oh, to cover me. Oh, LRB, LRB gets the double. There's the Starax pop as well, and no way down towards the bottom side of this fight. The Vanguard's Edge comes out. Zenten misses, but so much damage comes out from the Velcott. No way down towards the bottom side. Yasuo just dodging around it. You can see no way's already popped the Deathmark. There's the GA prop. Proxy's still alive as well, but no way might just look for the base. Doesn't really need to take down Yasuo. Can just go in with a push. Super minions and Baron buff would be enough. He's got double ocean healing him up now. I think he respects what Yasuo can do when they I are mean, with the No setting. way just keeps him around. He's gonna keep him around. Him around. Keep around. Just keep him around. Stop the port. Stop the backs. She's got Hold lots. The gates. She's got lots. Hold the door. She's got lots and lots <laughs> of, of uh, inhibitor yeah. minions pushing down Super now. Super minions in here. It's Bam. only Nikki Taylor up. Mid beast up in five seconds of oh no, they're just <laughs> <laughs> oh, Fox oh, Nikki Taylor's dead again. I think Europe are going she for the win. She spent more time got, with a grey screen time. than with a real screen this game. No way gets the 1v1 outplay on the other side. The Super Minion is pushing in. It's all Europe. NA were obviously jet lagged because Europe take it 2 0. <laughs> Europe take the win there. A little bit more convincing in the second game. And they can uh, quite happily claim yeah. EU greater than North America.
Thank you very much, guys. Incredible stuff. Team Europe, you've showed up for the home crowd right now. Guys, can we get a round of applause, please, for this incredible performance from this entire team? There we go. It's nice to have fans in the room, isn't it? It's always nice. Now, you must be feeling really happy. Before I ask how you're feeling, uh, Ella B, obviously, you must be chuffed a bit. Let's talk about game number two, though. Did you guys find it a little bit easier? You found it, you know, you're a bit more comfortable knowing maybe what they might pick next. Obviously, it's blind picks and everything. Yeah. Not at all, because uh, we just pick or picks, and he says, I will play at, uh, what do you say when you pick uh, Z? You will, uh, uh, you said, stylish, yeah, he said it will stylish on them, okay. and he just did. I so mean, you it did. Was I mean, you, you, had, you had a ton of kills. I actually might come to you really quickly and yeah. squeeze in here. I mean, you had a ton of kills out there. Talk to me about your individual play there. Um, yeah, well, it, like, Yasu made it pretty easy to get ahead, right? And, oh, uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> if you get snowballing with Z, they, can, they just can't stop you. So it's very easy.